Hey everybody, Mike here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how we form up a concrete slab. Now this slab is going to be for a garage. It's a 30 foot by 28 foot by 6 inch garage slab. And the first thing we're going to do is obviously lay out the forms. You've got to get the forms laid out. You've got to have the right lengths. So that's what we do first. Now, all we do is concrete slabs. We don't do the excavation. So when we show up, the earthwork, the gravel work, it's all prepared for us. I'm going to speed this up a little bit so you don't have to sit through the the 30 minute video it took us to do this. Now if you're new to this channel, my name's Mike Day. I own everythingaboutconcrete.com. Uh, my company's called daysconcretefloors.com. We specialize in concrete floors, concrete slabs, driveways, pool decks, patios, concrete repair, even stamp concrete, uh, staining, even epoxy floors. So if, if you're interested in that stuff, I'm putting out videos about that stuff all the time here on my channel. Go ahead down there and hit subscribe. And I'm trying to put out about two to three videos a week about this stuff. So we're going to just get all four sides laid out using two by sixes here. Again, this is a six inch concrete slab for a garage. We'll get the sides laid out and then we're going to screw them together. I like using, you know, to screw these sides together, we use a little bit longer uh, than a, maybe like a two foot piece of two by six to screw them together. There you go, that's about a two footer right there. Even a three footer and a four footer works good. That keeps that butt joint good and strong. We like using DeWalt drill drivers and two and a half inch deck screws to screw these together. I'll have a link for both of those down in the description. And the reason is they, they, they hold the forms together really tight. We used to use double headed nails and those work pretty good, but we just like using these screws a lot better. So what I'm doing is I'm just going around and measuring to make sure those forms are plenty long enough. So if that front side's 28 feet, I want at least 28 feet, one and a half inches. If the sides are 30 feet, I want to have at least 30 feet, one and a half inches. Now they can be longer. You know, they could be, that could be 29 feet on the front, could be 31 feet on the side. As long as they're longer, that doesn't really matter. We just don't want them the exact same length because that wouldn't give us anything to screw together when we go to screw the corners together. So I'm going to finish measuring things out. My guy there is going to get it, everything all screwed together. And then we can move on to the next step. Now I have a course about forming and pouring concrete slabs. I'll have a link for that down in the description. And in the course, I, I go over step by step exactly everything we do. Everything I've, I've learned over the last 35 plus years of doing this is in that course about how to form any size slab and then how to pour the slab too so you'll learn both it's a really good course it's it's 49 bucks it's not that expensive and it's got a 30-day money back guarantee so if you don't learn anything from it if it doesn't have any value you know you can get your money back but i, I highly recommend taking that course if you're gonna if you're gonna install a concrete slab for yourself it'll save you a lot of time and a lot of money and answer a lot of questions for you. So once we get the sides all screwed together, then we just get the forms tipped up. And once we get them tipped up, then what I do is I measure out the exact length. So I'm measuring out exactly 28 feet right there. Putting it, marking it on the board. And then we can get the corner screwed together. Again, this isn't, this isn't uh, too hard to do, but there's, there's a certain system we follow when we do this to make sure everything comes out right. When you're pouring concrete, you only got one chance to do it right. If, if, it, if it gets messed up, then replacing that concrete, repairing that concrete, busting it out and doing it over again can be real expensive. So you want to make sure you do it right the first time. So we're screwing that 
corner together right on that 28 foot mark and then what I'll do now is I'll go down and I'll measure my 30 feet and mark it and then we'll get the next corner screwed together again these deck screws work really good for for attaching these forms they don't come loose and then when you go to strip the forms, they're real easy to get out to. Whereas the nails, you're, you're really cranking on the nails to try to get them out. It's nice having at least two guys forming these up too. It makes it real easy. Yeah, we'll get that third corner measured out and screwed together. And then we'll come do the last one. These measurements, they want to be exact, too. You don't want to be an eighth of an inch under or an eighth of an inch over. Otherwise, when you go to square the slab, it won't be perfectly square. And then it won't be as easy to build on. So we'll get this last corner screwed together. We usually put about three screws in each corner, too. Top, middle, and bottom. That holds them nice and tight. Then what we're going to do is we're going to square the slab. So we'll double check our length there, make sure our length's perfect, 30 feet. And now we're going to go from diagonal to, to diagonal, corner to corner, and square the slab. This wants to be the exact length from each diagonal. Once you get it to the exact length, you'll know you're perfectly square. You may have to slide a corner one way or the other just a little bit. That's pretty normal. It's never usually perfect on the first try. But you want to have the exact same length. And just keep sliding it and keep checking it until you do. Sometimes it takes three or four times. Once you get the exact length, the next step is to, to pin those four corners so they don't move. We like using these metal pins. I'll have a link for them down in the description also in case you want to get some of these. These work really good. They're easy to pound in. They have nail holes or screw holes right through them so you can fasten the forms to them. And they'll go in nice and straight instead of the wooden ones. If you make your own wooden stakes, those are, those are a lot harder to get in the ground. And they move around a lot too. So we'll get these four corners pinned together. You can see we like using a, a two pound sledgehammer too. This makes them go down really easy. Then once we get those four corners pinned, we usually like to double check our diagonals just to make sure nothing's moved. You can see we're double checking it right there. If we have the exact same length, then we know we're good. If we have to adjust it a little bit, at least we can get it adjusted before we have all the pins in the slab. Like I said, you want it right the first time. You don't want to get this thing all set up and poured and find out you're an inch out of square. But once that's done, we'll finish driving in all those pins we like putting them about every four feet apart, roughly. And if the slab's thicker, then we'll even go closer. But for a six inch slab, going about every four to five feet usually holds the forms really good. Now what I'm doing is I'm gonna go screw a screw down in each corner, one of the four corners. And then I'll use that screw I'll put it right in the center of the corner too. I'll use that screw to run a string and attach my string to. And then we're going to use the string line to straighten the forms with so we can drive our metal pins into the, in the middle of the forms. We like putting the string in the center. You could put it on the inside edge. You could put it on the outside edge. We just like using the center. There you can see 
how easy that is. Corner to corner, wrap it around the screw, go to your next corner. Now you got something to, to go by, a nice straight string when you go to pin the rest of those forms. A lot of times when we drive those metal pins in too, we'll make sure the board is actually pushed in just a little bit from center. That way when the concrete gets poured in there, the pressure is pushing out on the form. It'll either push it out to perfect, or if you have to tap it out a little bit, you can, you can tap on the form while you're pouring and just tap it out to be imperfect. But we usually like to have the form pushed in about an eighth of an inch. So now that the string's up, we'll go around and put those pins in all four sides. Get everything pinned. Then we can get it, the boards to grade. You can see I have to dig that board down a little bit there. So we're going to finish pinning the four sides. This is nice having two guys too, especially if the gravel is really compacted very hard. Sometimes those pins go down a little hard. Alright, so now I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my laser up. And I've got another video for this. You can I'll have it up up there. You can link I'll link to it so you can go check this out about how to use a laser level. I'll have a description, I'll have a link down in the description about the laser level I like, so if you want to get a laser level like this, you can check it out. But what I usually do is I'll set the laser up, and I'll check my subgrade, see how level it is, and then I'll get an average of that level, and then I'll have my finished slab grade up six inches from that. So again, I'll have a video about that in the description, and you can check that out. Check out the course. I'll have that course down in the description too. I would highly recommend taking the course if you're getting ready to install a concrete slab for yourself. And again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, guys, go down there and hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell notification. I'm coming out with these videos two to three times a week. And if you hit, if you like this video, go, you know, you hit the thumbs up too. That will help me rank a little better on YouTube. But that's it, guys. That's how to form a concrete slab and you know specifically for a garage here thanks a lot thanks for watching